अगर आपको बहुत कम समय में एक बहुत ही बेटर लीडर बनना है जो दुनिया में बहुत आगे जाए और बहुत बड़ा बन जाए देन इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लो क्योंकि इंडिया के और वर्ल्ड के सारे बड़े लीडर्स से हम सही क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं जो आपको हेल्प करेगा हाउ मेनी डेज द the ideation from from ideation to actual execution goes like ideation is the full year at moment that you finish working on sunburn you start working on the next one the on ground production takes at least a month okay to yeah. matlab pure saal 11 months you are thinking exactly 12th month mein kya hone wala hai ha and you're then planning from 1 to 30 which is going to be you have to start booking the artists these guys make their schedules Huh. way in advance mm-hmm. you have to start booking the international guys you have to start thinking that is this year what will my festival look like what will the experience be like um you know so last year our theme was future is now we wanted to go very um you know futuristic tech heavy uh because there's a lot of changes in tech right web 3.0 and all of these revolutions happening uh this year our uh, when i this when the 2023 our our theme is going to be um enchanted forest so like an electric neon jungle mm. kind of a vibe so then you <laughs> start thinking of that <clears throat> obviously the main stage design will be around that mm. consistent with the theme but apart from that you should have entire festival experience should also give that kind of feel and vibe to the people so you and start thinking of those things very and early. you have the stage so i'm assuming ki when you make when you look at sunburn stages right they're like so grand so big right so you get people from around the world to design that yeah. or like to build that bahut sari cheezon ki jo milti bhi nahi hogi idhar because this is not like an everyday thing <coughs> like when you go to us or when you go to uk right us mein 25 festivals hote hain saal bhar mein right and there there's coachella there's edc there's umf Correct. there's bahut sare bade bade hote hain so they would usually get like one person would be working on other or cheeze idhar se udhar mil jayegi india mein to bahut sari cheeze milti bhi nahi hogi because i think as a scale which you guys are doing no one else is doing i mean now now the now there's no la palooza and like things which yeah. are coming but abhi tak to nahi tha so mm-hmm. you would get things from like from abroad or would you get people from abroad like how would no, the whole we, mechanics work honestly everything is sourced and provided locally <clears throat> we have not got things from abroad never no because there's a, there's a lot of stuff available in whether it's technical inventory or otherwise um yes we may have got designs from abroad even like last year we worked with a company dark room hmm. which is a designing agency based in australia <coughs> new zealand and they do fantastic stuff you know hmm. even the iconic sunburn um cubozoid stage which was i think in 2013 if i'm you know that was also designed by these hmm. guys so we worked with some international design agencies but we've always sourced things locally Oh, that's interesting. Or I mean, I say locally. I mean, from all over all India, of course. not from so, Goa, Goa, but yeah. I mean, or how many big team are there? Like to pull out a festival which is for forty thousand people a day. Hmm. How big is the team? See, my permanent team is about twenty-five people. <clears throat> okay. But then we get a lot of uh, freelancers on board during the festival time. So maybe another twenty to thirty people would be purely working on festival. Okay. And then the total crew, which is working on ground, which includes the teams of the vendors and the partners, easily goes to fifteen hundred to two thousand people. So two thousand. So there's twenty five people ideating for the whole year, thirty five people coming for a short period for uh, freelancing. Three four specific three four months at least. Yeah. <clears throat> for three four months for a yeah. quarter. Yeah. For. specific reason for yeah. their expertise yeah. and then there are 1500 to 2000 people who are actually making this happen correct so yeah. this also is a big cost huge cost yeah this is like a big cost, cost. The, so after no, no, production no, so that, I, that i mean is that for example <coughs> if we are taking the uh, lights and the led <coughs> from xyz company that include we will cost. put a team of uh, 80 people so that that's what i mean like all oh, these people are not on my payroll oh, obviously got it. yeah got it. Uh, nice. Okay, so this is seventy percent cost covered. What yeah. are the other thirty percent goes to? Other costs are um, so venue and licensing <coughs> will be one cost that. Okay. Uh, because obviously you need a bunch of licenses and permissions yeah. to be able to do these events in India. How many licenses do you need? Like what kind of license? Give me five, six top licenses which you need. Need. <laughs> which you have never. Which you didn't think ki abhi chahiye hota hoga. No. So the see main ones are uh, police, law and order. Hmm. police traffic so mm-hmm. there are two different licenses from the police 
uh, excise of course because all of our events we are serving yeah. alcohol uh, and then apart from that there are a lot of other licenses like fire and safety pwd and goa we have a uh, um, crg license because the venue is very close to the uh, coast okay crg is a coastal regulatory zone. okay uh. hmm. so yeah, when you're close to the coast you can only you know you cannot build permanent structures and etc etc so there are those kind of restrictions as well and then um for sanban goa we have an overall permission that we also get from the tourism department to conduct the overall that's like a overarching mm. uh, you know sort of ha ki itne log migrate karenge idhar for 3 4 days 5 days haan. are you yeah so they kind of then check with all the departments that everything is you know taken care of and all of that like is there a lot of politics involved in live events i mean more than politics i would say that you know i told you that the is a process of licensing right which is bureaucracy is involved ha huh, bureaucracy is involved because that licensing process is quite uh painful and long and quite often the licenses depend on each other right so jab tak aapki police nahi aayegi you can't apply for excise jab tak ye nahi hoga to wo nahi hoga hmm. you know then you need multiple signatures at each level so obviously if there was a way for this to be more standardized i think it would help the entire industry you know and then it goes back to the earlier point about that venues nahi hai yahan pe right you have to build from scratch so what happens in western markets is that the venue has licenses because the that like this venue is uh-huh. licensed for having on sale of 10000 people hmm. so fire has already checked it police has already checked it like people have already checked it Multiple so when you go into an event you may still need to apply just for one or two but you don't have to do the whole puri list nahi karni hmm. aapko start se finish tak you know and yahan pe pura start se finish har baar har baar karna hai and by the nature of the work yeah, these licenses will obviously come kind of last minute i'm not saying us din pe aayenge lekin you know uh, it will come in the last few days because they'll want to do their own checks and then you know anything can happen uh, you know in india of course we've had cancellations also Haan. in the past sometimes things are out of your hand you know uh, and kya hota hai like you just give me an idea कि अगर मान लो एक लाइसेंस नहीं आया कोई हाँ. बहुत और अब फेस्टिवल तो अनाउंस कर दिया है दस लाइसेंस चाहिए थे आठ तो आ गए हाँ. राइट और फेस्टिवल तो होना है हाँ. क्योंकि इतने लोग हैं और अगर कर दिया तो कुछ क्या कॉम्प्लिकेशन हुए हैं कभी ऐसा कुछ हुआ है हाँ नो एज एड वी बैट कैंसिलेशन यार तो अगर इफ यू डो नॉट गेट वन ऑफ द की लाइसेंसिस आपको पुलिस परमिशन नहीं मिली या आपको ट्रैफिक परमिशन नहीं मिली तो लास्ट मिनट कैंसिलेशन हाँ इट्स पॉसिबल बट ऑफकोर्स देन फॉर दैट देर बी सम रीजन Hmm. Right? There'll be some like specific reason. I mean, the most famous cancellation in the Indian industry was Swedish House Mafia. Ah. Huh. Because Sri Bal Thakre yeah. passed away on the same day. Uh, and that that, that, that again was our event. Ah. Huh. So yeah, there are as you say, force major reasons. Um, you know, for which uh, sometime. an event cannot happen Dude, and I then I'm so disheartened <laughs> yeah <laughs> i came for so sudhi shaus mafia would have been the first festival of my life okay first concert, concert of my life huh. right and i came to bombay from indore ha ki do din teen din pehle hi aaya tha shayad no do din din do ya teen दो दिन पहले ही कैंसिल हुआ था शायद तीन पहले आई डोंट नो नहीं दिन पे हुआ था दिन पे कैंसिल हुआ था या ऑन द डे इट वाज 17th और 18th नवंबर हां तो आई आई केम टू बॉम्बे एंड देन इट वाज लाइक पहली बार आए हैं और पहली बार ही कैंसिल हो गया थैंक यू सो मच हमारा वीडियो आपने एंड तक देखा प्लीज इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो ताकि ऐसी और भी बेहतर क्लिप्स आप तक पहुंचे और आपको हेल्प करे एक बेटर लीडर बनने में